Hello and good evening viewers. Welcome and thank you for joining us for the Sport City Extra Show. You are where we have different discussions to you know share with you and very your very important opinions as well what happened during the weekend we saw very many sporting activities and i'm very excited right now and you know my friend bill who we always was to the show together and for myself my name is elvis odiambo right. but we're always together and we are going to continue with the discussion and maybe some of you are joining us for the first time let him let's allow bill to introduce himself for those who may not know him. Uh, Welcome. Uh, very you? well. Thank you so much, Elvis. <laughs> but you can read much, okay? Uh, especially after the fact that, uh, you know, United got back to winning ways. Yeah, right. And I hope, yeah, I hope it will continue with the same momentum, the same spirit. But then again, as far as, uh, you know, flying the Kenyan, high, uh, Kenyan flag high is concerned, uh, Elvis Kipchoge doing us, uh, you know, making us proud once again. Not for the first, not for the second time, but for the fifth time uh, in a row at the Berlin uh, you know marathons that uh, took place uh, yesterday, but again, uh, generally I'm I'm happy. Uh, you know that uh, also football is back once again. This week a lot of action, carnival, campane, EPL, pane, nene, nene. So I'm really excited how to see you know the games will uh, will fare on. But uh, you know, come uh, Make sure you catch up with us through our social media platforms, neither Facebook, neither YouTube, as well as pale X. Make sure you follow Science TV and give us your thoughts and opinions. Back to you. Thank you so much, Bill, for that insight. Now, I'm so excited for this for this month of Death Awareness, where we're continuing different uh, events. We've seen in Nakuru, we've seen volleyball being played in different places. Don't forget that, and I will also continue to you know inform you more about that. Also, we have an event in. Nairobi University where there's free testing, different activities will be happening. So please don't forget to join us and continue watching right. for more updates about the same. Like Bill has told you, follow us for more interesting you know, conversations on our Facebook and YouTube and we'll be happy to sample some of your feedback as well. We also have our interpreters, the two special interpreters, Anne and Tobias, and we'll continue with the show as it goes. Tomorrow and Tuesday, Carabao, yes, we have Carabao continuing the knockout stages. And first of all, I want to thank God. You see, for the representation that you know our Elliot has done for us, as always, very interesting. One thing also, today, I feel extremely you know proud of Elliot. Some people you know were saying that Elliot should retire and right. go home and rest because he's right. old. Right. But truly, he's very talented as what we saw winning again for the fifth time i'm sure it might even go to the sixth <laughs> and the seventh i'm not even sure about that right. i'm sure it will continue but first of all you remember before you remember he was injured yeah. and he wasn't feeling 100 percent but right now what he did in berlin right. he, he managed to you know come two hours. number one two hours and right. you know two minutes two minutes and now, Bill, I just have a question. Now that Elliot keeps on winning, breaking world records, right. now what do you think about you know El Elliot? Should he now retire or right. what should he do now? Next. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that question, Elliot. Uh, of course, just like many other Kenyans, after the Boston Marathon uh, in London, where you know Eric, uh, uh, you know Elliot uh, finished, um, uh, was it seven? I believe. You know, many were worried that uh, you know his time was up. That uh, you know. Uh, it's, it's time for him to hang his, uh, you know, his boots and retire uh, you know, from, from, from the marathon. But then again, this time around, uh, again at Berlin, uh, we saw that uh, you know, his, despite you know, running short, uh, I think about 30 seconds short of his, the previous timing of uh, two, two minutes and uh, uh, two hours and one minute, this time around, he did really well and the come back again showing his strength, you know, his willingness to fight. And uh, the, the, beauty, the beauty about this uh, particular marathon, uh, Elvis, was so the fact that, the fact that, you know, Elliot yes was number one, then number two, we also have another youngster, you know, uh, coming in uh, slowly, uh, following the footsteps of uh, of Elliot uh, Kipchoge. I'm talking about uh, Vincent Kipkemoi, who came second, also in his debut uh, at the Madrid Marathon. So it's safe to say that uh, you know Elliot is uh, very much strong in it, and uh, you know he's leading the fray because he understands the kind. Of, he's, a, he's an idol to many young athletes. So I'm pretty much sure 
and, I, and I, you know, it was great confidence after the race, talking about how, you know, this op opens up more, you know, uh, the fact that he's going to participate in the, the Olympics in Paris uh, next year. This is um, this, this, motiv this motivates him. So I'm really excited to see him back again. And uh, start at retire. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not hoping he's, you know, he's going to retire right now because 38 years old. You have to see him run. Uh, come on, let's have 40 plus. Then it's uh, you know it's fine because. Uh, we are here for this, and uh, you know, as far as marathon, uh, uh, you know, uh, runners are concerned, uh, the way uh, the legendary Nashinsky, uh, you know, sings about keep jogging, keep running, keep uh, you know, uh, marathon runner. We are here for that because uh, I, I believe he still has a lot of power, uh, in, in, you know, in, in, within him. So uh, he's going to lead uh, the likes of Kip, Kip Kimboy and others to, you know, and get them really well to other marathon titles. Right. Thank you. That's very true, everything yeah, that yeah. you said. Yeah. And we saw how, without the representation, then you see maybe <laughs> it would have been in Ethiopia. Yes. But right now, Eliud right. managed to represent us very well, and everybody knows that Eliud is king. Now, I'm wondering, between, for example, Paul, right. between, you know, Paul, Paul you know, yeah, he used to run the marathon, but then, Later, he never broke the world record. I think he, he was, he almost got it. Right, right. But Elliot has become a, a, you know, a star of the world, and him, he loves, you know, the marathon a lot. Also, next year in the Olympics, which Elliot is going to be participating, and I believe Vincent, do you think they're going to follow each other as right. well in the Olympics? Because I know Elliot is very strong, powerful. And the marathon is something that is greatly experienced and right. well versed with. Right. And he knows how to, you know, control between the different slopes of the track. Right. Vincent also closely following him, learning from him as well. And like you said, maybe past forty, he right. still goes on running. Right. And Vincent, right now, do you think now we'll be able to surpass him, or if? Maybe, you know, because you know Vincent is a youth right now, right, right. meaning he has more energy. Right. How do you think they're going to progress on moving forward? You know, uh, one, one, thing, one thing I do believe is there's, there's, a, there's, there's a big difference uh, when it comes to having an idol and, uh, you know, idolizing them or, you know, when, when, they, when, they are, when they are out of the game. But in this, in this case, when you, when you look at Vincent, who is uh, a case, he's, he is running with his idol who is still active. Uh, you know that is a uh, job we're still doing the most so that is very special to someone because uh, you know uh, when you have such a mentor that uh, you know you're following him closely and you see that uh, you know if he can finish number one then you're number two that 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 is uh, motivation enough for you to continue you know doing well be it in the training or on and off you know the field so i'm pretty sure Eliud, and, and uh, you know it's funny that uh, you know Eliud is uh, winning you know these titles right about now because Historically, you know, when when he started, when you, I remember back in 2003, when you look at uh, research, how it says, you know, in the 5,000 meters, Kipchoge was very active. No one could really imagine that he would get this far to the marathon level because he was dominating the 5,000 meter races in the Olympics, and uh, you know he did really well. After that, after after you know 10 years or so, you know, I went silent Kidogo, then he shifted the track races to now you're seeing him doing really well in the marathon. You can imagine if. You're, you're running with such, uh, you know, uh, you're, that you're, you're competing with your, your, with your idol, whom you, you, you know, when he was doing the he was in prime youth, he was doing really well. Right now, he's, you know, with all of the experience that he has, he's still shining and doing really well. You'll definitely be, you know, automatically motivated to do well in whatever, you know, uh, in whatever field that you are in. So, I'm pretty sure that, just like I said earlier, Eric Kipchoge, uh, you know, we are yet to see, you know, more from him. You remember the Ineos challenge? That he went, uh, you know, two hours uh, short. You know, it, it, that goes to show that he still has that fire uh, in him. In the Olympics, uh, in the Paris Olympics next year, I'm hopeful uh, that we are going to see more, not from even Elite Kipchoge, but other other track athletes as well, because uh, you know it paves way for, for that kind of motivation. That as much as you know, having 38 years, uh, you know, it, it doesn't mean that uh, you know you retire early, because you can retire old just <laughs> just the way Elite. Kipchoge is doing it, and uh, it's it's a it's a good show for the for the coming athletes because it goes to show you that with the proper training, uh, you know, with the proper resilience, you know, uh, you're working hard, and uh, you know, you, you you achieve 
uh, much and uh, not, not, not you, 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 you know you will not limit yourself to you know uh, it's just only your, your different uh, in the particular races you are running for example look at El, El Choge 5000 meters was dominating really well and now in the marathon is now becoming a legend at uh, the marathon field so it's uh, it's, it's good to see how uh, that uh, you know many young athletes are looking up to him and he's doing much as far as an idol is concerned Okay, thank you so much, Bill, for that insight. I know he's very strong, and I know you know he's a bl he's going to motivate others, right. and he's definitely made us proud. Cause Kenya, we've like we've we have very many talents. Right. Forty-two kilometers, uh, twenty-one. They're always training. Right. We have very many youths who are always running around training. Cause you see, the government is always you know training and uh, offering support for offering support to those right. you know the upcoming marathoners and runners and even in public schools we have the participation the games for marathon and i believe that the government is taking the responsibility athletics kenya. and athletics kenya as well so that they can partner with the government so that to ensure that you know they empower the younger generation for example, in Eldoret, we have very many youth who are getting the empowerment and right. the training right. in the schools. For example, if you don't have support enough support in school, the government and athletics Kenya should come in in order to support you, build on the talent, right. and you know, continue to nurture that talent. And I believe that with this kind of representation, we will have more of these opportunities. I believe five years, Ethiopia was you know, it was always between yes. Ethiopia or right. us, Ethiopia and us. Right. But right now, we are on fire right now. Eliud is not giving them any leeway to take the position. Right. And we are very grateful for the representation that they've given us. Because in the last race with Eliud, Ethiopia was number three, right. and Ethiopia was number three. Yeah. Could you please comment on that as well? All right, uh, you know, uh, for, for quite some time, it has been a, a competitive uh, race when it comes to, it's particularly, Eliud Kipchoge and uh, the, the famous Ethiopian, the legendary Haile Gebra Selassie. Because, uh, you know, up to, coming up to the Berlin Marathon, there were four, four, four wins each. Eliud Kipchoge with four wins at the marathon, then Gebra Selassie with also four wins. But then again, right now, Eliud Kipchoge winning the Berlin Marathon, you know, so now he has five, he has surpassed, uh, you know, Helen Gibraslase. That goes to show you there's a competitive, uh, you know, uh, the competitive nature of the sport between the two countries where, you know, uh, Kenya has, the, you know, its powerhouse, uh, the likes of, uh, you know, Kipchoges, you know, the likes of Kipchoges, but also Ethiopia, we, 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 they're also a big power as far as athletics is concerned. And we saw this in the women category where we had a thief, uh, you know, uh, dominating and winning uh, you know, with, uh, creating a new uh, world champion, world record in the women's uh, marathon sector. So, you know, that, it goes to show you the competitive nature uh, that is there. Because previously, uh, before uh, you know, Asif uh, you know won the, the race uh, yesterday, it was being held by Bridget uh, Kosgei from Kenya. Uh, and, and you know, it goes to show you that uh, there's, there's still much to do as far as uh, you know uh, getting the title is concerned. But we are happy where we are because you know uh, the fact that the previous record was being held by a Kenyan. Uh, you know, at, athlete, and now he has shifted to the Ethiopian side. It goes to show you that you know they're taking up the challenge really well, and we're hopefully we are hoping to see you know uh, the, you know, the, 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 the competition to grow uh, more you know uh, more challenging because uh, when, when you when you have when, when it's healthy the way it is, it only you know uh, goes to goes down to the athletes putting more effort in whatever you know in whatever fields they're representing or whatever races they are running. So. Uh, uh, hopefully, we're going to see the competition going more healthier. And uh, Kenya versus Ethiopia, it, it has always been, you know, a, a, a stiff one. So hopefully, but Team Kenya all through, you know, we are hoping. Well, to was not it. Yes, but we are also aware that, you know, they are very good at it. So, right. Thank you so much, baby. Viewers, so please don't don't forget to share with us your opinions. Who you know, what will happen in the Olympics. And as you saw what you did for us today, right. yesterday, <laughs> and we've now Eli has now won it five times, making us very proud. Right. And he's very good in representing our country, and we are all excited and happy for him. Cause you see, sometimes here in Kenya we suffer when it comes to football. <laughs> we really suffer. Yeah. But with the marathon and the athletics, right. we always have good representation. 
or early in manage clock two hours and two minutes. Yes. And uh, number two and number three, following behind Ethiopia number three, right. two hours as well, with some twenty four minutes, and 